is a call for you to return back. Let those people that have seen you cheat, those people that have seen you compromise, that have seen you do some fraudulent things, that have seen you give bribes, that have seen you fornicate, that have seen you do things that let them see you again repent and stand for righteousness. That will be a testimony to the Lord. And there will be a testimony and people who have really seen you and say, is this not a deacon? Is this not an elder? Why is he behaving like that? Let them see you preach again. Let them see you confess openly. I have once compromised, but now I have returned. As a prodigal son, I'm standing and I'm declaring what God has done. By so doing, we will weaken this thing the enemy have done against the body of Christ. We're talking about the rewards of shining for the Lord. We want to read the book of Daniel chapter 12. Wow. And then we read Revelation chapter 22. The rewards, the rewards of shining your light. Praise the name of Jesus. I read Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The rewards of shining your light. I want to start reading from Daniel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I read. I just want to start. It's 13 verses. It's a long reading, but I don't want to miss any of them. It is so exciting when you see that God has his plans for us. He has detailed his plans for us. The details of God's plans is something we cannot overlook when you observe and see these things it gives you the strength it gives you the capacity it gives you the understanding and then you don't walk in darkness this is what is clearly spelled out in the scriptures regarding the work of god and regarding the plans god has for us and i want to read instead in verses i'm going to read it very fast and we are trusting god to give us light and i want you to study it on your own because when you understand the times and the seasons you are living in it will make you to live better it will make you not to be a prey and not to be a casualty in this last days i read from verse 1 daniel 12 and at that time that is this time what shall michael stand up the great prince that standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since that there was a nation even at that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book that is pivotal we're not going there today. Verse 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Can I pause and say something concerning this? It's about shining here. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Wow. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. What do you mean by turning many to righteousness?